And I guess I don't need to really wait for too many people to show up here because this is kind of a uh, just a quick update for holsters that people can watch later on. Uh, but anyway, um, if you're seeing this after the live, which is probably how most of you are going to see it because I doubt that. I'm going to get too many on here brings I didn't advertise it. But anyway, I have resumed holster production. Just to show off a couple that I just got done last night. This is a pair that's going to go out here. Um, either if not today, uh, early next week. And uh, this is one of the third one that I've also worked on here. Uh, but if you've got an order in with me, I've got them wrote down. I'm going to go through them. Um... If you want to double check on that, because I think I got everybody's order in. I've got like 10 or 12 of you on there. Um, if you made an order with me, haven't heard from me, and changed your mind, let me know. I'll take your name off the list. Uh, but for right now, like I said, I think I got about like 10 orders. Um, let's see, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Exactly 10 orders. So, if you want to order a holster, go right ahead. Um, the email is dukefraserproductions at gmail.com. Duke Fraser Productions, spelled just as it is on the uh, channel title. Um, and, yeah, hopefully we can get something going out here. Um, I did get a new order of leather in. Nice, big, fancy roll. The one bad news I've got about holster orders is, like everything else, my prices have had to go up because I had to pay. I got the little bit lower grade uh, side of leather for the same price that I paid for the higher grade last time I ordered it. So the price of leather has gone up. And to be honest with you, on this Herman Oak, I haven't noticed that much difference between this grade that I just bought and that higher grade that I was buying. Other than this one might have an extra hole or two in it on the outside edges that you can't really use for much so i'm gonna keep buying that cheaper stuff uh to try to keep some of the cost down uh, but prices jumped about ten dollars a holster so if you got an order with me i uh, figure it's going to be about ten dollars more than what um what i had quoted beforehand and when i get to the post office god i hope i don't have to up my prices there too for shipping because uh, they were already starting to get pretty ridiculous <laughs> Um, when I uh, got them up to $20 anyway, I may have to start buying uh, shipping boxes and uh, start shipping that way instead of using that post office stuff. But it's easier to insure with the, the regular ones. But anyway, some other things I'm working on. Trying to come up with a shoulder holster pattern too um, here in the future. Uh, this is going to be for my 1911. This is my prototype. I'm working on another one for a friend of mine. Uh, but hers are going to be really fancy with some snakeskin inlays, so I'm going to try that inlay stuff. Uh, that might be an option in the future. Um, far future, that is. But other than that, I haven't really had much time to do much for new patterns. Uh, so custom orders are kind of on the hold for right now. Uh, but if you have an order that you want, send it in, um, and I'll see what I can get done with it. I'm going to try to start to see if I can get some military-style holsters. So like the uh, Civil War or the Gaylord uh, full flap holster, I'm going to try to get a pattern going for that. Uh, also for the 72 modified Gaylord um, that even has a wiping stick, I've got two orders for those. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get those filled here uh, and get a pattern made up for them. And then I've got patterns for the 84, but just for the body and the flap, I, don't, I need to find a pattern for the belt loop. Uh, or make a pattern. Well, I gotta make a pattern either way. But uh, anyway, that's kind of what's going on around the shop here. Um, I'm gonna start cutting holsters today on all of them that I've got ordered. And uh, if I wind up having leftovers, we'll throw them up on here for sale or on the Etsy shop or somewhere. So anyway, I'm gonna get off the YouTube's here so I can go get some work done, uh, get some patterns, or get yeah, get some patterns laid out on the leather and find out if I've got enough space in here to cut it out or if I'm going to have to uh, find an uh, emergency spot to try to cut leather where I don't get it all dirty. Um, but I'm starting to think I should start going back to double shoulders. Uh, they're a little bit easier to manage when you're in tighter space. And I don't think anything's popped up in the chat here. 
yeah, nothing's popped up in the chat. So anyway, I'm going to sign off of here. Like I said, this wasn't so much as supposed to go live as it is just an update for y'all for your holster orders. Um, like I said, if you've got an order with me, you want to cancel it, send me an email or something, let me know. Um, otherwise, I've got your names down, everybody that's emailed me. And if you haven't heard from me for longer than six months and you had an order in, because uh, a lot of these orders started coming in in December. If you ordered before December and you still haven't heard from me, get a hold of me because I probably lost you in all somewhere in that translation area. So anyway, hope you all have a good one. Um, stay safe out there. Have a good weekend coming up here. And uh, hopefully we can see these gas prices come down sometime so we can actually get out and do some travel. That's one of the reasons why I'm stuck home working is because can't afford to go fishing. Y'all have a good one. Stay tuned. Keep your powder dry.